Look what I have. So this came in the mail today. I'm so excited. It is the long awaited Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. It's so beautiful, as you probably already know. And it came in this beautiful box with a freaking like TV advertisement on it. I'll be honest, I don't even know how to film this video right Why? now because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be oh. professional, but I am just so overwhelmed. Oh, and Jacqueline. Enjoy that this time has actually come. Like, I don't even know it's how come. to express myself. When Linda and I first sat down to So, before I get into the palette itself, FYI, my hair looks like it's been peed on up here. Still not a perfect tone, been working on it for a couple days. So the case isn't your typical Morphe case. It is a cardboard packaging, very sturdy though. I like cardboard packaging because it means they put more money and effort into the product itself and not the packaging. And on the inside, it says, this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline. So now getting into this beautiful palette, I will be doing a tutorial on the eye look that I have right now, and I'll be doing a review and swatches of every single color. Every one of the 35 shades you see here, I will swatch for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I will timestamp everything below. Let's just get into it. So in this palette, there are 17 mattes and 18 shimmers. I think one of them is supposed to be pressed glitter. That is what she said in her video in the box when she was talking from the box. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it might be this one here. I don't, I don't see that. That doesn't make it any less of a palette. I just don't get which one's a pressed glitter. So this palette is so pigmented. It's so rich. I love it. I don't understand what the hate is with Morphe. I am, I have an affiliate code. I do not promote it. I just sincerely really like their products. I understand that everyone's different. I, for one, love these products. I am not paid to promote them. I was sent this on the PR list. There are some products by Morphe that I'm not into, but the brushes I love. Only problem I've ever had is one of my foundation brushes. It's starting to separate here at the wand, so that's the only problem I've ever had. I've never had a problem with shedding or anything like that. I genuinely like their products and I love this palette. It truly is everything you need for going on a trip or just your day-to-day -day looks. It has a great range of colors from your black, your dark browns, your rich kind of ochre colors, your mustard shades, there's tons of transition shades, your highlight shades, your pops of color. I just wish that there was more cool tone shades. There are a couple shades that are very similar, like these three here, or these four. I wish there was more of a taupey matte color because I'm cool skinned. I like to once in a while use a cool transition shade, which this palette is lacking. I wish the black was a little deeper. It's not super, super black. And I wish, as I say with most palettes, that there was one or two more kind of pops of like a light shimmer, so something in between this color and this color, because I like to wear very light, bright shades on my lid. But other than that, it is very on trend with the warm tones. There are cool tones down here. This is a very cool tone brown, as is this one and this one. And some of these shades here, like this one and this one, those are cool toned. I just wish, wish, wish that there were some more mattes that were cool toned for transition shade and just not so warm. But looking at it, really, this is stunning. So one great thing about this palette is it does come with a color chart. So you can keep this if you are a YouTuber and you wanna tell your audience which shades you're using. But if you're not, there's no sense in keeping this. But this is a nice touch. It's nice to have if you like knowing the names of your shadows. So as I said, I've always been a fan of Morphe eyeshadows. This palette, I don't find that the formula is that different from the other formulas from their palettes. I've always found the shades easy to blend out. I think it's all about brushes and not necessarily the product. Obviously, it comes down to the product a little bit. All the shades are very pigmented. They're very easy to blend out. I love this shade here. It doesn't apply well with a brush, but packing it on with your finger, it is gorgeous and super 
pigmented. I just wouldn't recommend using it with a brush. This highlight shade right here is beautiful. It doesn't look that shimmery and pigmented in pan, but it is super pigmented and actually does a great job at highlighting the inner corners. I found that with a lot of palettes, that highlight shade doesn't really do enough for me, but this one really comes through. It reminds me of the highlight shade in the Modern Renaissance palette. So before we get into the tutorial, let's do some swatches. I am going to speed through it. I'm not going to talk a lot about the eyeshadows themselves because there's a lot of shadows to get through here. So yeah. So all in all, I definitely recommend this palette for the price. I think it's $29.95 as most things are these days. I will put the correct price down below. This is definitely a palette that I recommend. There are so many colors, especially if you're just starting to get into makeup or you know someone like a teenager who's just starting to get into makeup and you wanna get them a gift. This is such a good palette, you guys. I will put a link to it below, no affiliate code. I do not get anything from you clicking that link, I promise. It'll just be a link on where to purchase this beautiful palette. And if you want to see the look that I did with it, then keep watching. Okay guys, let's dive into the tutorial. So first we're going to grab the shade Hunts and use a big fluffy blending brush and just apply this as our transition shade in the crease, blending upwards and outwards. And make sure you blend, blend, blend because this is going to be a very intense look. Next grab the shade Chip, which is chocolate chip, get it? And apply that using a small detailing blending brush and apply this right into your crease, blending Again, as I always say, upwards and upwards. So apparently I really, 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 really want this to blend because I blend for a long time and I don't know what to say while I'm blending. So talk amongst yourselves and we'll just wait for me to finish. Next we are going to create a cut crease and you can use any concealer. This is actually an eye primer or an eyeshadow I guess, the Aqua XL shade from Makeup Forever. So next grab the shade Royalty. I start off using a dome brush and then I transfer to something smaller. All my good brushes were wet when I filmed this. I was not prepared. It happened by surprise when this palette showed up at my door. But we're just gonna apply this to the outer corner of our eye and then also on the inner corner of our eye, leaving a blank space because we're going to apply the shade Faint on the center of the lid. My hair needs to be toned so bad. The bottom part of it toned beautifully, the top hasn't taken it. Any tips? Any tips for that guys? I don't want to look like dog pee anymore. So just make sure that's all blended out and then grab your finger and apply faint. Pat it on to the center of your lid using your finger. I tried a brush, it didn't work. Finger it is. So next grab a teal toned Eyeliner, this one is by Makeup Geek and it is in the shade Ocean. I love these full spectrum liners, they're beautiful. Now grab the shade Pool Party on a small smudging bl bra bla brush and apply this just over top of where you put the eyeliner, smudging it down. These two are like the perfect shade together. Now grab the shade Hunts again and just apply that right underneath Pool Party and then grab a blending brush and make sure it's all nice and blended because it looks a little crazy right now before you blend it. So now we're just going to line our eyes 
here I am using the Tardis clay paint liner. I love this liner. If you're a newbie at doing a very dramatic wing, this is for you. Now I'm applying some lashes. These ones were Athena from Iris Beauty, my favorite faux mink lash line and mink lash line. They don't make, make mink minks, but. <laughs> and now Virgin Morphe Liquid Lipstick is my favorite from the liquid lipstick collection from Morphe. It's so pretty and perfect for fair skin tones. And that is the finished look, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out my Instagram. I post different fashion looks and different makeup looks every single day. And blog posts and all that fun stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.